Guys, you absolutely have to check out some of these brand new keyboard accessories that Tez just released, and most of them are only $35. Take a look at this wrist rest, for example. These wrist rests are only $35. They're made of resin. They are really high quality. They look fantastic. They have engraved logos on the bottom right. And I'm really struggling to believe how these are only $35. Like the packaging, the unboxing experience is absolutely elite. The actual product quality, like when you take a look at the resin, when you look at the top, when you look at the bottom, when you look at the glossy texture and you feel it, it is really really good looking and it is fantastic for like if you want to take instagram pictures of your keyboard bills and your entire setup with your desk you can get them in a ton of different colors the colors that i was sent was the white the white and teal as well as the black and red and i think that all three of them look extremely good i like using them as far as the comfort aspect and whatnot typically i will say that they are decently comfortable to type on but when i game i normally do not use a wrist rest so i purely enjoy them for aesthetics it's really the only reason why i ever would buy a wrist rest for a keyboard is if it was aesthetically pleasing and to be honest these Tez wrist rests are exactly that. Comfortable to type on, maybe not so much when gaming. When gaming, I'm moving this thing off my desk, so I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. But when it comes time to start taking some pictures with some keyboard builds, you guys best believe that I'm gonna be using these in photos because it just looks so good. Next. Tez, they're really known for their budget cables before the cables were only like 25, 30 bucks. Now they've gone up to about $35 with their E-Series, which has started a lot earlier in the year and they started with like some black, some red cables and whatnot. But now they have this mint green color that I like quite a bit. And now they have a blue Mizu theme, which is like blue and white. The aviator is painted white as well. You also have some black painted aviators and some of their other options and they just look fantastic. And again, for only 35 bucks. Now my only critique as far as the cable Cables go is I do wish that the USB type C was a little bit closer to the coil of the cable so that the coil would actually land a lot closer to your keyboard itself that is the one critique that I have about the cables otherwise I really don't have any issues I think that they look fantastic as far as aesthetics go but if they can fix that for $35 they would be really hard to beat now if coil cables are not your thing they do have some new straight cables that are only $25 that do still come with a painted aviator so if you're looking for a really nice aesthetic without the coil you can can get that from Tez as well and it is on their website along with everything else now the last thing that I want to mention to you guys is that Tez now has some gaming mouse pads and they're really inexpensive as well so $22 for the 2XL size which is really really good for that size of a mouse pad and then you do have $29.99 for the 3XL mouse pad which again is massive and will cover your entire desk maybe stretch over the end of it a little bit more i didn't offer that size for the test samples because quite frankly i don't need a mouse pad that's that big and my desk um even though i do have a pretty big desk i just don't have the room because i have a lot of other stuff that i have to keep on my desk so with that being said, I don't think that I would ever use a 3XL mouse pad myself, but if you like massive mouse pads and you want to cover your entire desk, maybe you think your desk is a little ugly. Well, maybe that 3XL mouse pad is for you and for 30 bucks, what have you got to lose? The surface, I wouldn't say is very unique at all. Like it's pretty decent. It's nothing that's really fancy or anything that I would say. And gaming on it, I think is just fine as well. It's decently quick, but pretty controlled. And it's nothing that I would really write home about. It's just good overall, nothing really special nothing bad or stand out about it though i like the new mouse pads i like the new cables i like the new wrist rest and honestly tez they're barely missing if they fix the little thing that i said about the usb uh, type c connector as well as the coil and just make it a little bit closer to the device honestly they'd be winning best budget cables in my opinion i really hope that they make those small changes this is the second time i've asked actually but if they can make the change this time and come out with like a v3 4 they've revised them a couple of times at this point and they've been doing a really good job with their revisions well if they come out with like a slightly better addition with that small change that i made honestly best cables for the price i'm looking for that i really hope that they update that so i can talk about it but other than that one little nitpick these cables are really really good high quality decent packaging as well nothing really special as far as the cables but the wrist rest that's where you get the special packaging trust me Try it out, link in the description below. If you guys use code too much tech, it does support the channel as well. So I would appreciate it if you guys did so. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you guys once again for watching the channel. Let me know what is your new favorite color of the wrist rest? Because again, I really am digging that white and teal. I think it just looks fantastic. And I can't wait to get a keyboard build that matches that because uh, 
I want to see that whole white and teal aesthetic. <sighs> Might have to pay a scalper for GMK Tiffany. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.